Hello everyone, welcome to Instrument Hub. Today our topic is Flame Scanner. What is Flame Scanner? How it is working? What is the purpose of Flame Scanner? How many type of Flame Scanner? How we can set the parameter on the field? How it is connect and each cables what is the function? All describe this video. Don't skip it. A flame detector is a type of sensor that can detect a response to the presence of flame. A flame scanner in a boiler is a monitoring system that detects the presence of flame in the combustion chamber. Next type of flame scanner. There are two main type of flame scanner. One is infrared type, another is ultraviolet type. That means IR and UV. On the picture you can see the structure of flame scanner in the field. Detector mount, flame scanner and analysis unit. This is actual flame scanner on the field. It is installed on the boiler. Now have a look for what is the fundamental and component on the flame scanner. How it is connecting in the field. Once you search on manufacturer manual you can see this kind of drawing. This drawing describes push button, relays, LED display and connections, uh, how many connections used uh, this flame scanner, all mention this manual. And this is individual flame scanner connections and individual connection going to DCS also. I hope you guys, you understand the technical point of flame scanner. Now we are going to field and more understand of installation how it is working how we can uh, focus on the flame all we can see directly this video now we can see on the screen this is boiler flame so now we installed flame scanner and adjustment going on during alignment always focus keep center on the flame then only we can get good intensity next have a look for cable connection and termination each cable how it is connecting all we can see in field first that white cable connection is fault black cable connection is common and green cable connection is flame on this three connection in one jet and next is red blue cable is communication and downside cable is power cable brown and yellow cable is analog output cable 24 volt dc external power energy this scanner next we going to experience about the parameter setting this is manual on manufacture so one by one parameter i marked on the screen you can see one by one and the same parameter we used on the field. Right side button long press. Long press. Okay. You will enter into the programming mode. Okay. Then you have to press right button. Right button. Press A. Function okay. set A. Okay. We need to set all the set points in function set A. Okay. You have to enter. To the function set here okay. intensity pulling intensity pulling value is 30, 30. value is 30 yeah. value is 30 we okay. can vary we can vary here okay. by using up and down buttons okay. then we can set uh, we, we need to store temporary temporary store okay. temporary store then we have to get back back then down then intensity drop out is 30, 30. we okay. can vary okay and then we have to uh, temporary store temporary store and then then back back and down then FPI frequency yes. pulling. Okay. We have to set. We can vary. Five. This. Five. Uh, we can vary this. Okay. Then, then temporary stop. Then temporary stop. Then back. Then down. Frequency drop out. We have to set. We can uh, go up and down. Uh, sorry. That is already minimum. Okay. We can vary if uh, higher uh, pulling value. Okay. Then we have to back. Then down. 
This is delay dropout. Uh. Delay dropout how much? So, two seconds. Two second means uh, 20 means? 20 means two seconds. Two seconds, okay. Two seconds. Back. Then back. Then down. Okay. You need to go for last uh, record. We need to enter okay. right button. Okay. We'll store permanently. Okay. Then we have to get back. So now the set points has been completed. Fault setting. For fault setting, right button again. Right button again. Again, we need to go for FSA. FSA. We we'll, should not go enter enter into the FSA. Oh. We need to go down. Okay. Down down. SRU. SRU. Sequence. Safe relay. Safe okay. relay. Okay. We need to go enter. It should be SFR. SFR. Safe flame relay. Okay. Then you will get a safe relay activated. Okay. Before it was in SSF. Okay. Now SFR is the correct. Okay. SFR is means safe flame relay activated. Okay. Now you have to store temporarily. Then go back. Go. SFR back down. down record. Down, record. Okay, now then we have this stored temporary. Yeah, new sensor. Mm. First time we are going to install. Mm. Sometimes this flame, flame has been off. Mm. So, how to flame can on? Actually, that is off mode. That is only to, yeah. depends on the set point, sir. Yeah, all set point we need to ah, apply. Okay. That analog output, na? Yeah, analog output, sir. Analog output already we have set it down. That is one time. Yeah, but point. that was off Still last time. Show. That was off last time. I see, I see. FSA ah. down 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 analog output okay. we have to go enter and quality yeah we have to store quality temporary okay. then come back then go down 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 record okay. so this is analog output Done. next we go for identification of friend display parameter and readings the same manual on the screen we going to explain next showing display mode how we can one by one reading trace out one by one parameter reading we can see on the display this is frequency and q is quality f is frequency ir value is actual type and AO is analog output 100% analog output and one by one reading we can change downside button and upside button that is not parameter but individual IR and uh, uh, quality all we can check by local push button throughout of this video i included actual reading of flame scanner this boiler already running this video nice experience for beginners because all actual parameter included while boiler running what is the feedback from the uh, flame scanner can see throughout of this video so keep watching and share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much